Welcome back to the Core Cars News Review Lab. Today we're taking a look at the top 10 free Apple TV apps. Now these are apps that are 100% free or have a ton of free content. A few of them will have the ability to add premium, but there's just a couple of those. So let's kind of dive into the top 10 free Apple TV apps for your Apple TV. Now, a few things off the bat, these are in no particular order. Don't take in the order in any form of recommendation from Best Source or anything like that. Um, also, if you have a suggestion for a free Apple TV app from the Apple TV App Store, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think, what you think of these apps, and what you would suggest for these. Now, right off the bat, I want to suggest Pluto TV. Now, if you follow Core Cars News, news you know I highly recommend Pluto TV across the board. It's a great app with a ton of content. Uh, let's back up into the menus here. Now, two things. you got a live linear feed here. Sometimes they're live, sometimes they're like a collection of videos turned into a feed. Um, everything from movies, so you got um, Beyond Borders, a lot of movie channels, news, so um, CBS News 24-7, M NBC News. This is a good example while I was talking to about this is what I was looking for. Now you see they talk about the, the Today Show, the Megyn Kelly Show. Now these already aired on NBC, but they're being replayed here. Sometimes they're a collection like the Today Show will put together all their best clips into one segment right there. Um, and they have other stuff here. Cheddar, here's another new uh, live one. Newsy, RT, Newsmax, and more, 100% live. Now they also have on demand. There's other categories, sports, nerdist, music, lifestyles, all kinds of different live ones. But they also recently added um, on demand like True Grit, Hugo, lots of different movies in here and TV shows. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Teen Wolf, a lot of classic um, 80s movies and 90s. Um, Cheech and Chong, Code Heads, and a lot more. So Pluto TV, a great one here, both for live linear channels with uh, curated and live content and on demand. Next up is Tubi. If you're looking for a ton of free uh, on demand content that you can pick from, I would recommend checking this out. Now, it does have a sign in or register on Tubi. Now, if you sign in and create an account, you can move between devices, pick up where you left off. It will, with their machine learning, analyze what you watch, just like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, say, hey, you watch a ton of action movies or law enforcement movies, let's say, and we're gonna recommend a lot more movies or TV shows related to what you watch. If you don't log in, you don't need to, it's still 100% free. Uh, let me go back up. Um, they have a leaving now category with a ton of stuff. They also have a lot of popular TV shows, not just movies, Dog Bounty Hunter, Duck Dynasty, uh, storage wars. So tons of content on Tubi here. Great lineup of shows and movies. Highly recommend you check it out and it's free. The other similar service that a lot of people um, group together is Crackle. Now Crackle is owned by Sony so you can find a lot of Sony content. For example, they always have a smattering of free uh, Seinfeld episodes on here. Uh, but you can see there's a they're starting to produce Crackle Original, so there's some content you will only get here. But then again, everything you expect, action, comedy, fandom. Um, see, here are categories like, here are, uh, here's a hero episode, excuse me. They do have um, different categories like drama and more all involved in here. So, not bad. Um, Seinfeld, here's a bunch of the Seinfeld episodes. It's, um, all available now, so it's not a bad collection. Again, it's 100% free. You can't go wrong with free. Um, now, so we've looked at movies, we looked at TV shows. You're saying, Luke, I want some news. I like a lot of news, but I don't want to pay for a service. But hey, like today, there was a South by Southwest Airlines incident. Uh, I bet when I click on this, there'll be a lot of coverage of that. Um, and you can see, yep, right here, South by. Oh, nope, they just updated it. So yeah, Southwest Airlines was there for a second. Um, now I can swipe up, so here's a live feed, which I'm wondering if they're stalled out, but right here you can say, South, I can pull up and see from the last hour all the news. So Southwest Airlines um, and more. And then I can keep going and check out different ones out here. There we go. Different news feeds, a lot about the Southwest Airlines flight. So pretty cool. I like this when it was uh, during the election season. It had, for instance, a ton of the presidential debates uh, going on it, which made it a great service to be able to 
catch up and um, keep on top of what was happening politically, debates, news. When there's major events like that airliner incident that happened today, they are all over it. Of course, it's a matter of world news. They also rebroadcast like their weekend shows on here too. And they do a really good job with their CBS News. Highly recommend you check it out. But what about weather? I want weather, I want to keep on top of everything that's happening. Uh, the Weather Channel has a really good app here. Now, you get your local forecast, I can see all that, but I can also go up here, and oop, there we go, and I can check out some of the um, top videos. So they have some longer form content. They also have latest weather news, which gives you up to date on everything, Storm Central, Science must see daily forecasts. Here we go. So let's say I just wanted to quickly get an idea of what the national forecast is. Maybe I'm doing some travel. Maybe I just love the weather. They have a lot of that right here um, to check out. So, um, and then there's photos about weather and all kinds of stuff in here, but this is a really good weather service if you want to just kind of get um, on top of it. I live in kind of a smaller town, well, 130 some thousand people. So. Your size is smaller, may be different. There isn't a specific newscast, but again, some like Austin, Texas, Dallas, New York, they have specific videos for those towns, um, but apparently not where I live. Next up is Red Bull TV. Now, if you are a hardcore um, sports fan that loves some of the more, let's call it extreme ones, um, here's a, a one they're showing right now about modern skiing. Um, let's back up into the, here we go. Go up to the menu so they auto play into one video this one's about skiing but you can see other ones they got um dirt biking mortar biking uh, let's keep going take a breath it looks like some extreme um sports some of this is short three eight minutes some of this would be full like third films and documentaries so full length films tv shows here's more shows out here on this they do a really good job they have a lot of live events. The Red Bull competitions, of course, are on here. Other similar sporting events. They also have been kind of delving into concerts recently. Uh, so if you can check that out here, which is really cool. But if you're in, into like skiing, snowboarding, uh, motorcycle racing, um, and a, just a ton more, they have a lot here um, in content. Nope, let me go back I meant to go down. Upcoming live events, you can see right here, you can check out you know, the uh, FIA, Red Bull Motocross, Wings of the World. Looks like a, a couple marathons are gonna be covering, a skateboarding competition, um, and more. So check it out, Red Bull. If, you're, if you enjoy that, if you enjoy some of the music culture, they do a pretty good job of covering that. There we go. All right, next up, let's jump back into sci-fi to start with. So, hey, if you love sci-fi, Comet is a channel you need to check out. Now you may be saying, hey Luke, I can get Comet with my antenna. Yeah, this is just a feed of the antenna, what you will get there. Um, there we go, schedule. So, Comet's available over there, but not everywhere. I live in an area where Comet just doesn't come in, but with this, I can watch Comet live for free on my Apple TV. And it's pretty cool, I can see, uh, I can jump up different days, see Stargate Universe, Andromeda, um, a lot of great B-movies. They have uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. They do a really, really great job here. Highly recommend you check it out for um, comment. Again, 100% free, no cost on that. Next up is Facebook Video. Now this one I deliberately didn't log into, but it gives you access to a ton of stuff if you log in with your um, Facebook account. Not only do you get some access to uh, videos from your friends and favorite shows, but you can also get, like they have a Major League Baseball game every year, or every week, excuse me, during the season that you can watch through here. They also have been increasing the number of um, content that they create and offer on here. And um, so you can watch it, which you can see some suggestions here. A lot of original content. Um, I really love the fact that you can see videos and stuff from your friends. Love the, you know, seeing my nieces and nephews on the big screen with my wife, we kind of throw it up here. It's a pretty cool feature. So Facebook video, check it out. Um, next up is Twitter, or excuse me, is uh, Cheddar. Twitter's next. Looking, talking doesn't always work. Now, this one does offer a premium version. So if you pay premium, you get additional access to more live content. The free version still gives you um, several hours of content a day, 
mostly focus on political and they also focus on um, finances. It, but they recently launching what they call tw a Cheddar Big Story. And this airs a ton of um, more general news content out there and what's happening in the world. I'm assuming they'll be integrated in here. I haven't heard if they're launching a separate Cheddar Chatter Big News app. I, I would hope they would just integrate right in here. You see, you're talking about Netflix, um, Tesla, uh, diapers, I'm guessing. So, and a lot more content right here. So, Cheddar is really a great free news service. Paid to get access to more, several hours of uh, live content for free, and then on demand access. Twitter is my last free. Uh, Apple TV app of the day. Now they have a ton of one content. Now they also air Cheddar through here for a few hours a day. Um, Bloomberg Stadium for great sporting events. The list goes on and on. They also have, um, you can see different uh, news stories are big right now. Periscopes like um, that are popular right now. Looks like the Texans uh, are about to have a news conference. Uh, all kinds of content and info wars. Let's see here. Yeah, looks like just for some reason it's really thinks I want to watch some Texans football. I do like football. I'm not a big Texans fan though. So there's a ton of content here that periscopes are just put up by anyone can do that. But up here is the curated high quality content. They show some major league baseball, different college sporting events for free. Again, when the elections were happening, they were all over it, streaming the um, debates, streaming uh, the uh, um, big conferences and more all 100% free. They also have different channels where I can go in and say I want to check out sports and I can check out the different um, sports and news happening right now. So there you go. There is my top 10 free Apple TV apps of 2018. Do you have one you want to add to this list? Leave a comment. Let me know. I'll do my best to take them in consideration. Maybe in the next video, I'll use your suggestion for the best apps for the Apple TV. So if you haven't tried any of these, give them a try. They're all 100% free or at least have a lot of free content. Cheddar being the only one that also offers a paid content version. But really, from movies to news to weather, the Apple TV has a lot of free content you don't have to pay for. And especially when it comes to things like CBS News. Um, there's no reason, if you're a news person that only watches it every now and then, no real reason to get a live TV streaming service if all you want is when there's a major breaking news. Maybe something like CBS News is, and Pluto's news coverage is what you want. So check it out, leave a comment, hit the thumbs up. It really does help us. Subscribe if you haven't for more Corn Con news, tips, tricks, and how-to guides. And join us every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern for our weekly Corn Cutting Q&A, where I do my best to answer your Corn Cutting questions live right here on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.